What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today and today we're gonna check out Grid Legends again but at 1440p on an external monitor. So we're all set up and ready to go since this is my laptop's general home. Basically always sits on my desk like this. The only thing different is normally there's a cooling pad sitting under it but that's on my bed behind me right now. Anyway, so why don't we go hop in the game, look at some settings and have some fun. All right, start now our 1440p gameplay here we'll just look at the settings real quick display settings just we're at 1440p with no v-sync and all that good stuff so now let's go have a look at the ultra low settings well all right here is ultra low so let's let's look at the ultra low settings really fast and then we'll do a quick benchmark and then boom we're into the game and then we'll get some screen recorded gameplay and some camera recorded gameplay because Windows screen recording does sometimes take some... Ooh, let's turn that off. We don't need that on. Still ultra low, though. Anyway, we've gotten to the bottom. So now let's get into the benchmark. So here is what we got for the benchmark. Here's our little graph. And then there's all of our system information. Now stuff that comes. We got 228 average. Uh, 175, apparently 97 percentile. 120 min. 286 max. And then our... CPU and GPU frame times. So now let's actually see how it does in the game. Hopping into the race here. We're on ultra low. And it looks like it too. I feel like I'm playing on a Xbox 360 maybe. No, this is still too good graphics for that. But you can definitely tell it's a ultra low. That's all I'm trying to say. Oh, nope, that was stupid. I shouldn't have tried to sneak in there like that. Oh, well, at least I didn't, like, make it so my, like, steering's all messed up. Alright, can I get ahead of this guy? Yes, I can. much of the inside on that one. Oh well. Now I'll know for next lap. I say that but half the time I forget. Hmm. Could have taken that a little better but still learning this track so it is what it is. But all right, why don't we go and move on? All right, now we got some ultra low here to start with. And this is definitely a game that seems to get some FPS bump from being on an external monitor. I don't think we were getting 200 FPS before. I think we were in like the 180s or something like that. I could be wrong, but I think we were getting way less FPS than this. But not surprising. That's how games like FIFA and stuff work too. It seems like any kind of game that can get lots and lots of FPS usually tends to get like 20, 30 FPS more than it did on the laptop itself. And that's due to that damn lack of the MUX switch. I hope they put one in next. I would be willing to pay extra money for that because then it's basically as fast as a 3080 just without the ray tracing. But their next versions are supposed to be better at ray tracing. Our DNA 3, so we'll see. I'm sure Nvidia is probably gonna still be ahead, but at least maybe it'll at least be playable now. Like, yeah, maybe Nvidia will be like 20, 30 FPS ahead, but instead of us getting like 20 FPS in Cyberpunk, maybe now with like FSR and some help, maybe now we can just get 60 with everything on, you know? Who knows? Only time will tell. And I will get that laptop as soon as it comes out, and we will do a comparison video, because I'm sure a lot of people would enjoy that. Anyway, though, I think that's good enough. Why don't we go ahead and move on? Moving up to the low settings preset now. So let us have a quick look at these. For then, we will have a benchmark and then gameplay. It is how we do this most of the time, after all. And there we go. 
And variable rate shading here will do that guy at the end. Low benchmark just got done, so here's our little frame time bar graph thing. And then here's our CPU and GPU RAM, GPU memory and all that. We average 203, 153, 135, and 258. There's our average frame time. So now let's get into the game. All right, so now for some low gameplay. Definitely looks a little better, but still pretty aliasy and pretty soft textures. But what do we expect for low? That's why low settings exist. If they had good looking graphics, they wouldn't be low and then they would perform like shit. On lower end systems, that is. But that's not this. Quick drink here. Oh, and I have a new microphone for even better audio quality for you guys. I mean, this headset is alright, but I got myself one of those Razer ones that can, like, that makes it so, like, I never have to worry about my voice maxing out and piercing your guys' ears. Like, this thing is pretty good if I'm making sure I'm talking at a reasonable volume, but if I get excited or something, it can peak. And then I have to take care of it in the video editing software. And I don't ever always see every single one of those. I try to keep them under control, but it doesn't always happen. I feel like I might as well just take a quick little hit, too. Why not? Go, Camaro, go. All right, why don't we move along? All right. That was probably a horrible time to switch. I should have waited till going around the corner, but now we are on some low camera recorded gameplay here. Go Camaro! See, like, I would have downshifted into third. But, still, I didn't feel like messing with the settings yet. I just wanted to get these videos out for you guys. Once I actually buy the game, I'll go and mess with the settings till my heart's content for the drive lines and auto transmission and all that crap. Whoop, I was looking at the time. Alright, once we get around this corner... Well, let's get around both of these corners. That way I'm not just unpausing right into a wall or something. Although this time I have to remember to just get done with the frickin' race. I did it again. Frickin' changed the settings and then restarted the game in the middle of a damn race when I was in the last lap and about done with it, so. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just finish this race up. It's not like it's gonna take that long. Because I am booking ass. And there we go. Now I've beaten it, so it can't, I can't mess it up. I have to redo it. So now let's move on to the next graphic setting. The time has come for medium settings. So why don't we just go over them real fast here? I 
ambient occlusion is still off. Well, it makes sense. That one usually is worth like 5 to 10 FPS depending on the game, so I can see why they'd turn that off for medium. And we'll do that variable rate shading guy at the end. So now let's get into a benchmark. Now the medium benchmark has just got finished, so there's our little frame time bar right there. And then our CPU, GPU, RAM, GPU memory, DirectX level, all that good stuff right up here. Uh, we average 184, got 146, 136, and 220. And there's our two frame times. So now let's get into that game. All right, time attack. So I guess we're starting already moving. Let's see if I can't uh, beat everybody. So far, so good. This is definitely starting to look a lot nicer now. Out of my way, Mustang. Well, so far, I'm first, but I don't know if that'll stay the same or change. We'll see. Oh, shoot. I gotta stop going off the track. Wonder if I have enough time to still get up to those five laps, so I hope I have enough time. As long as I don't keep going off the damn track. So what do I do? I go off the track. <laughs> awesome. All right, though, I think that's good enough. So why don't we go ahead and move on? So we're on medium, and I accidentally went off the track a bunch, so now I'm getting absolutely owned. Some piece of some car there. Oh, back in first at least. Now I gotta remember, stay the fuck on the track. Crash into the motherfuckers. It seems way less worse than dodging them, going off road, and getting penalized. Out of my way. All right, though. Why don't we move on to the next graphics setting? Here we go with some high preset now. Let's just quickly scroll through all these guys so we can do a benchmark. I wonder how it'll do this time. I guess we'll find out in a few seconds here, won't we? And we will do that guy at the very end. Now that benchmark for high is all done, here's our little frame bar here. Little frame bar graph. Here's all of our system information, CPU, GPU, system memory and GPU memory, all that stuff. We average 159, 129, 118, and 185. And there's our two frame times. And now into the game we will go. Time now for some high gameplay. Oh, and it's raining and we're in Japan. That should be fun. The game's definitely looking pretty good now. And still running great.
All right, good. I slowed down in time. Almost not there, though. Shit. But I'm not getting eliminated. I'm going to keep pulling away from these guys. Definitely fun though. Going up through the mountains. Just having some fun. But I think this is a great time for us to move on. Alright, now for some high cam recorded gameplay. It seems we are in Japan. I like Japan. Need my ass in stepping out. This thing's already got its engine in the back. That ass in steps out too far and you are toast. Because this one is not all-wheel drive to save me. This is a real-wheel drive only Porsche. Almost positive. Sure doesn't feel like an all-wheel drive car anyway. one lap, but this is elimination, so laps really don't matter. They're not even counting laps. elimination. Oh, I thought that was a way bigger corner. Slow down way too much. Alright, there's a small little spot. Why don't we use that opportunity to move on to the next graphics setting? Now on to ultra high settings, which turns everything on besides that variable rate shading thing. We'll do that guy after this setting though. Because it's always fun to see what all the settings do. And we'll do that guy next. So. Now, let's move in onto that benchmark. Benchmark for ultra high is all done. Here's our frame time. And our CPU, GPU, RAM, all that good stuff. We averaged 136, 110, minimum was 106, and 160 was max. And there's our CPU and GPU times. And now, let's get back to the game. Now for a little ultra high gameplay now. And dang, you can even see the heat coming off the exhaust now. That's crazy. Game definitely looks pretty decent, that's for sure. This is only at 1440p. Out of my way, I'm plowing through you guys. That's for sure. Oh, 
well, we put a pretty decent lead on the next guy behind me. We're over eight seconds, well, seven, eight seconds ahead of him. And that's like an eternity in racing. Oop, a little too fast there. We dented our rear bumper a little, I'm sure. Anyway, why don't we move on? All right, now we got some ultra high gameplay now. The game definitely looks pretty damn good on ultra high. I'm not, I was not sure I was gonna be able to go around that one that fast, but. This Porsche doesn't have a giant ass massive wing on its back for no reason, so I guess it definitely can handle. Didn't hit the wall that time. Still went into the corner a little too hot, though. Man, though. I do like the way this thing handles, though. It did say it handled a little better than the Camaro. Not surprising. Not that that Camaro is bad at handling, but Porsche to Porsche. Anyway, though, why don't we move on to the last setting? Last up here, we're going to do some custom. It's pretty much ultra high, but we're turning on variable rate shading. But figured I'd still show you all the settings just so there's no shenanigans. If we didn't just turn a bunch of stuff down and make the setting look better or worse than it is, I guess. And as you can see, there we go at the bottom. It is now on. So now let's go run to benchmark. Well, benchmark's all finished. Seems very similar, but I think we got a little bit better FPS. Because minimum was 106. I think we got 136 average, so we definitely got a little bit better FPS. Cool. What a nice little setting. Anyway, though, now let's go hop into the game. All right, and now for some variable rate shading gameplay. Let's see how it does. I need to stop plowing through all the cars. Oh, couldn't quite get around him there. Let's see, can I sneak in there? Yep, all right. Ooh, I messed that one up. He definitely took that better than I did. Hyper racing line combo. Well, that's not too bad. Well, I took that a little better this time. Anyway, though. Why don't we go and move on now? All right, now we got variable rate shading on. And we're definitely getting a little bit more FPS. 
and much smoother FPS at that. So that's nice. I really don't see any negatives to turning that on. Doesn't make my game look worse. Go Porsche, go! Oh yeah, so far I'm having fun with this. It's a pretty fun little racing game. Went into that one a little hot. <laughs> Didn't crash though. And during the straightaway, what a perfect time to wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Grid Legends at 1440p. And it, it did great, completely playable at all settings. So I'm hoping that this will be another one that maybe will be able to be playable even at 4K. Only time will tell. But it's time for me to move on to Ultra Wide and also go do some Steam Deck videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next one, peace out, guys.